Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is just playing with the clone tool. I love the clone tool. I'm going to hold down the control button, and it makes a perfect circle. I'm going to hit P, put it in the keyboard. I'm going to go up to Object, and I'm going to convert it to a curve. Then I'm going to clone it, and I'm going to put my clone right there. I'm going to make a duplicate of that I'm going to make a duplicate of that, and I'm going to put the center rotation right there on that node. A lot of times, Corel doesn't look like it's there, but if you click on it, it is there. We're going to rotate this 20 degrees. Control D, rotate it 40 degrees, and then you can just hit Control D many more times till you get all these weird shapes, kind of a neat pattern. But well, what's neat about the clone tool, because we've converted it to a curve, we can move the curve and it moves all the clones. You can get some really unique patterns just by moving and you'll be able to see what you're going on. You can do this with rotation after you've made, the, made it, but you won't be able to tell what it's going to look like until you do this. And you can, you can get some really... Uh, nice shapes uh, if you're drawing something and a lot of people are going to ask well what would you what would you do with something like that well let's back up here and make it a little simpler and then you could take your smart fill tool and fill in these areas and make yourself some sort of pattern or flower and or a design for a logo and then, you know, do the other, each other one around. Take just a second here. And you can just keep going around and around. Now that one is messed up because our clone is there. Let's see if we can't just move our clone out of the way. And yes, we can. Get back to the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. Then you could continue around, and I'm just going to go ahead and do this for the video. I might have got off track. I might have started doing another one. No, I did it right. Then, let's just take this and select it all, and left click, no line, no line so now you just have the feel that's a pretty neat design so play around with the clone tool it's pretty cool thank you hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching